Two moms, one fighting cancer, the other whose son struggled with medical problems, are teaming up to help others. Such a good story. Mm -hmm. They created a business based in Durham to help others dealing with similar issues. CBS 17's Maggie Newland shows us what it's all about. It's all about home here. They're both moms of young children with a passion for helping people. But Dana Yobst and Ashley Hart built a friendship and a business on something more. A shared understanding of life's twists and turns. In 2016, Dana and her family donated their belongings and moved to Colombia. We wanted to spend some time and experience a different culture. But it wasn't long before doctors diagnosed her with breast cancer and her family moved again to begin treatment at Duke. I've had nine cancer related surgeries and procedures in less than two years. So there was one week every three weeks where I couldn't even lift my head. So when I was sick, I had to be strong. I still had to be a mom to two kids. I'm a wife. She relied on family and friends to cook, clean, and run errands. We could hire housekeepers and we could hire babysitters, but we couldn't hire people to do these little things. Usually they'll do at like 27 to 30 weeks. Yeah. Ashley also had to depend on others. After a difficult pregnancy, her oldest son was born two months early and suffered medical problems as he grew. He would vomit 10 times a day and we couldn't get any food to stay down. Then pregnant with her second child, she took her son to a feeding clinic in New Jersey, but fell and broke both ankles, ending up in a wheelchair for weeks. I needed help with dishes. I needed help cleaning the house. When Ashley and Dana met, they discussed their own needs for help with everything from dishes to driving and together created a business called Favor. It pairs primarily retirees and stay at home parents with cancer patients, stroke victims, or anyone who needs help with day to day tasks. It's hard enough to be sick and have challenges. Like, if we can provide a little help and make a little difference, then it's worthwhile. And while neither expected her own struggles to lead here, they hope their business helps others feel less alone. In Durham, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.